Whitefish football team beat Dillon last week 28 to 26 and a huge contributor to that win was quarterback Finn Ridgeway throwing just over 190 yards. Offensive coordinator Mac Roach said it has been a pleasure watching Finn develop from being the starting quarterback just as a freshman to now going into his third year as a starter. He has seen his leadership, talent and confidence progress. He just he's just kind of filled out. I mean, he's gained 20 pounds. He's looked at as a leader. Uh, and, you know, when you step in as a freshman, that's that's as tough as it gets going into varsity football. And so the experience is he's had two full seasons under his belt. He's learned a lot. He's had a ton of ups and downs. And I think he kind of knows what to expect at this point. Not only has Finn played as many snaps as any player on the team, Coach Roach says it's his ability to read the field that often sets him apart. Now it's to the point where, you know, he's a junior, he's a captain. And, and I know that if we're calling something that, that he's going to see on the field exactly what we're seeing. Uh, it's not kind of like rolling the dice and saying, well, who knows who he's going to throw to. We Last year, Whitefish lost to Dillon, which kept the Bulldogs from making a playoff run. And quarterback Finn Ridgeway said nothing feels better than coming out this year and beating Dillon in game one as the underdog. Amazing, actually. Uh, last year in the snow game, it was pretty brutal to lose by six, knowing that if we got the ball back, I mean, I think we'd probably win the game if we get the ball back there. Um, so we just... That gave us even more confidence going into this year's game. And with that confidence the team received from game one, they're hoping to carry that over into this week. Make another splash. I mean, first, I mean, week one, all we did was go in there with confidence and we made a splash and that's just our impact. That's just what we want to do is just go in it. Whitefish will be taking on Frenchtown Friday at 7 and you can tune in at 10 for the highlights. Reporting in Whitefish, Alexa Belcastro, MTN Sports.